Thank you, Nicole. The Diocese of El Paso will not press charges against two retired administrators accused of using school money for personal expenses. An audit and investigation found the two took more than $800,000 from St. Joseph Catholic School in Central El Paso. ABC 7's Josie Ortegon is live with the latest. Yes, Rick Estella, brother Edwin Gallagher and brother Richard Fish were in charge of the private school for 25 years. The diocese says they took several things into factor into account when deciding not to press charges against them. One of them was the two immediately admitted to it when it was discovered. What we can see is that this was definitely um, money spent living beyond the means of those who took a vow of poverty. The diocese still not saying what brother Edwin Gallagher and brother Richard Fish used more than $800,000 for. Three separate investigations found the elementary school's former principal and assistant principal took money out of the school bank account for personal expenses for seven years. This was money that was coming out of the school's general fund. So this could have been used for anything in the school, anything from things that the school needed to teacher salaries. The two are not employees of the diocese, but members of a Catholic religious order based in Ohio. The diocese agreed not to say what the money was used for so they could get the money back from the order. The first installment of a little bit more than $200,000 will start on June the 30th, so here in a few weeks. And they have until May the 31st of 2017 to repay the money. Meanwhile, mixed reaction from parents like Joe Mares, who says he doesn't believe the allegations. It's, 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 it's unbelievable. But if there is any money missing and all that, look at the church. I, that's where money went, in, went into it. But former student Ryan Norris says he hopes the church will be more transparent now and in the future. They expect us to confess to them in confession. Well, this is confession time, so go ahead and let us know what they were spending the money on. And I just spoke to uh, District Attorney Jaime Esparza over the phone, and he says that they will investigate to determine whether or not they will press criminal charges against both brothers. Rick, back to you. Okay, Josie, thank you very much.